Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Reindeer Story. Uh, okay, we are, we're playing as Wendigo. Let's go. <laughs> yes! Nothing to say, huh? You're Abominable's kid, right? I've got high expectations of you, Sonny. That magic of the Grand Present astounds my lord and I. I, Merlin, shall research its power. Good morning. I am Arthur, King of Britain. Alas, last year I came in too. Tis time I prevail. Hey, they always let some weakling compete. The first rounds need some trash like you to filter out. Wendigo? Never heard of him. I can't wait to see Arthur crush that little loudmouth Wendigo. A cuckoo elf. She should go back to her workshop. Arena announcer Azzy articulates awesomely. Did you know he is also a narrator? Can't breathe fire or shoot fire. Oh! I don't know why, but I kind of expected her to be, like, the size of an actual dragon. <laughs> Can I get up there, maybe? Hello, I'm Pollyanna. I'm thrilled to meet you, um, you and all. I'm quite busy now. I don't really know you. You signed up to compete? How lovely. Put on a good show. Don't disappoint me. Hello, competitors. Welcome to Autumn Marina. I'm announcer Azzy. I'm also quite. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> oh. Oh, what are these? I don't know what these do. Heal. Like a single heal? Regenerate. Venom slash. Snowball toss. That sounds pretty good. These are not that expensive. I could probably just buy one of each and figure it out later. Yeah, that'll work. can't break these. Oh! Why all the violence? And you must be that boy, Wendigo. Before the tournament proper, you must make it through the trials. Think of it as a test of your knightly medal. Make it through the first trial, the gauntlet. The gauntlet is a series of traps you must get through with haste and finesse. You ready? That's a spirit, lad. Take the door to the left. Oh, it's an actual, like, obstacle course. What is this music? <laughs> Oh, God! Ah! 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 No, yeah, start the whole thing over again? Oh, my God. I, this music is insane. It's just aggressive drums. song is a hundred percent percussion. That's a dead end. 
Oh my god, there's more. Oh my god. Piece of cake, godlet- Oh, okay. Uh. The music is still going. Looks like I'm getting my wish. Oh! Ooh, oh my god. So you're quick on your feet, but can you fight? Of course I can fight, Buckethead. Feisty, eh? Well, we'll see after the second trial. Combat. Ready? It's, uh, the gate on the right. Hold on. Wait, look how confident he is. Hmm. Let's try that. Oh, they're gonna have when I go fight these things. I guess I have to use beam then. You guys, yeah, you just, like, walk around. Oh, I have to, that's, I'm, that's aiming it. You know, this is a really easy pattern. I'm gonna, like, wait a couple turns and try to get some energy back. Because I don't know how many rounds this is gonna be.
Oh, the gold balls again. You know what? Hold on. Ah, uh, that didn't really work out. What the- what happened there? Excellent, ye firebrand. You're in the tournament. It was an inevitable. The trials are now complete. Successful contestants, go meet with uh, your court magician. I better go get Robin. Ooh, I've never competed in front of a crowd before. Makes me nervous. You better not let me down, Beak. Want to go and Robin, please come to the Coliseum via the west entrance. Well, that's us. Good luck, Robin. Break a leg, Wendigo. Maybe two, just, um, just in case. Welcome one and all to the annual night games. Sit tight, the first round of the tournament is just beginning. From the West Wing, hailing from the freezing Mount Fairstep is newcomer Wendigo, supported by Rob Nakukuel from Tinseltown. Rookies hope they can put up a good fight. Oh. Now from uh, from East uh, East Wing, a well-known figure from England, the great King Arthur, and his wise sage Merlin. A pair uh, nobody would hope to face in the first round. Unlucky. Go, Arthur. Crane that little punk. Ah, the Eddie and Elf look so sad, they might just cry. I'd hate to be those two. Does one not hear that? The, uh, you, the crowd doth pity you. Ah, what makes you so great? I own Excalibur, marking me rightful, um, the right, rightful king of England. Well, I've got Excalibur at home. <laughs> what? Boulder Dash, there's no such thing. Merlin, there exists no such Excalibur, Doff there. Of course not, my lord, I think. Hi, your claims are but a fantasy, and that's final. Wait. <laughs> so, young lass, I hear you're a mere toy maker. Do you even know magic? You could say I dabble. Dabble? Hilarity. We have not a to fear for, um, from these pups. With the trash talk out of the way, let's start the first round fight. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> They're both unelemented. Oh, we got healed. Okay. I've got a suplex, King Arthur. That was a funny, uh, like, hit animation. <laughs> Oh, you don't have much health. What does this do? Looks like that lower defense. Whoa! Oh. That's a cool attack.
That's a, you took 12 damage from that. Oh, now you're in trouble. Nice! Healthy heart, energy boost. In a shocking turn of events, the winners are Wendigo and Robin. Bested by a mere pup, Merlin take me back to England. I must rest my wary head. At once, my lord. What an electrifying first round. Any comments, Pollyanna? A marvelous match, newcomers surpassing season pros. Time marches on, new blood replaces the old. You hear it here, folks. Looks uh, can really be this evening. Don't count underdogs out so soon. <laughs> Ooh, we did it. Congrats, you two. I had to close my eyes a few times, but you did great. Thank you, two, and thanks, Wendigo. Still more to go. I can't wait to sock it to the next set of fools. Let's make sure we're, we're well equipped for round two. Okay. Speaking of well-equipped, I want to go buy some items, actually, if the game will allow me to. I don't know if I'm going to be able to leave this place to get back to the shop. Oh, you are in my party now, though. Okay, I got a couple new things for you. That's physical. Interesting. It's green elemented. Let's replace um, elf greens. Or can I not do that because that's like your signature move or something? Power down. That might be really useful. I'm gonna replace Topsy Turvy with that. Actually, I'm gonna replace that. I wonder if the game will let me leave the whole area. <laughs> I might as well maximum if they're that cheap. Walnut. Oh! The electrifying first round mat uh, matches have come and gone. Shocking winners. Devastating losses. Now things are heating up for round two. On the West Wing, Wendigo and Robin facing an equally bizarre pairing, Kate Sith and Nessie. What a pair of weirdos. Right, you could say the same yourself, laddie. Hi, Kate, be polite to the little nipper. He's a slow boy. Slow? First a knight from England, and now a catastrophe from Scotland. Don't forget about the big uh, beast whale. 
Have you got yourself some mouth, you overgrown billy goat? But I'll gobble you down faster than a plate of haggis. <laughs> and I'll cut you little birdie down into a bit-sized ch bite sized chunk meow. I'd like to see you try, furball. Let's scuffle. Okay. <laughs> You're blue elemented. like those attack patterns, that's cool. doing bubbles again. Oh! You seem to only have one attack and it's not that hard to deal with. That's it! Oh my god! Okay, I, I noticed he was doing this little pose when he hits the ground. If you hit the button as he does that pose, that's the cool timing. Oh my god, I feel stupid for taking that long to figure that out. I actually found that easier than than the last or uh actually you know okay given the narrative of that's pro that was probably intentional but <laughs> one more win for Wendigo and Robin let's ditch this wee popsicle stand Essie <coughs> aye we let the wee nippers win anyway any comments on oh, your majesty a bizarre match I wish to see more uh, when two sets of weird collide it's always surprising yes well put it um well put, it's exciting when you can't tell what comes next. Take a rest and prepare for the next exciting uh, stage, the Joust Royale. That took a while to load. I... Next up is a Joust. I asked about loaning horses, but they said you need to register your own steed at sign up. I know, and I did. Wendigo, you don't have a steed. Yeah, I do. I registered him myself. Oh, I get it. Then where is he, you idiot? I'm looking at him. I am not a horse! Look, I gotta ride somebody to compete. I don't think riding Beak would be effective, or family first. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Gross. But I don't see the problem, Lux. You've, uh, you've pulled a sleigh. I think you'd make a majestic steed, Lux. That's digni um, dignified. I wasn't uh, ridden like some common mount. And I was pulling Santa on his most vital mission. Okay, so he has pulled Santa's sleigh before. This isn't a Rudolph parallel. <laughs> Not a punk uh, Yeti's unimportant ego trip. Well, Rudolph did pull the sleigh eventually. You know what I mean. I'm, I'm an expert on Rudolph, okay? Like, 
Punk Yeti, unimportant, I'm here to help you, remember? I'm this close to just going home, Antlers. Lux, getting the present back is important. I'll do it, but I won't like it. Well, you better learn to like it, you donkey. To get the present, we have to play to win. Can't do um can't do that with a with a half-assed ass holding me back. So let's get prepared. They gave me these clothes. Does he get a knight outfit? I want to see if on the side. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool! <laughs> Also, that is absolutely the thumbnail. You two look absolutely adorable. Lux is the perfect steed for such a little knight. Adorable. Little dammit antlers. I suppose you look stout, my, um, mighty and de uh, debonair. Man, I just want this over with. So embarrassing. If the other reindeer saw me, they'd tease me twice as hard. Well, I think you look like a dashing knight. St uh, straight out of a fairy tale. Ah, thanks, pal. At least someone else here has some taste. You got one fan. Good luck, you two. Dude, that is so cool. Hmm. What's up, Robin? I've just been thinking about the tournament. Why is uh, the grand present the prize? How did Pollyanna get it? Maybe Snowdoom had a spare and gave her, uh, gave her it to hide. That doesn't make sense. Everyone here says Pollyanna is kind. I'm going to have to do a bit of exploring. Let's get the, to the bottom of this. Oh, now we get to play as her. Still can't fire anything. Huh! Oh. Cool. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, let's just ask her directly. Hello, I'm Pollyanna. I'm thrilled to meet you, uh, meet you and all. I'm quite busy now. I don't really know you, so... No, that's the same dialogue as before. That locked door in the fighter zone is suspicious. Can I do that battle as Robin solo? That sounds t terrifying. Is it this? This is the fighter area, right? Oh, cool. The fighter zone. Is it this? Oh. A key, this must be for that locked door in the fighter room. Oh! Looks like it's starting. Lux, wanna go try your best. Also, I need you to drink water. Hold on. Oh. oh yeah, let's go. Okay, folks, it's time for the Joust Royale. We split the remaining eight cont uh, oh, split the <laughs> remaining eight contestants into groups of four. The winner of each round will face each other. In Group A, three of the knights are ready. Now for the fourth. One more adorable contestant just got cute. <laughs> Tickle Boo Boo! If this competition was about cuteness, they would have won. Oh, darling. I'm sorry, did he call us like Tinkle Boo Boo on the registration? Wait, I oughta. I ignore. I I I ignore. 
Ignore him, Wendigo. If he knew what uh, what he was talking about, he'd be competing. Wait, did the announcer just call me Tinkle Boo Boo? It's a joust! Oh my god. Wait, you can- Oh. Oh! Oh! I see. You have to cheese it by stunning your competition. Also, I'm not sure if I like that you can see their hitboxes. That feels a little like... What's the term for it? Like, developer graphics that just wasn't removed? I'm gonna have to ask the dev if that was an oversight or not. Yeah, that was easy. Loot plus? What is that? And the winner is Wendigo, who has triumphed over three unnoteworthy individuals who have inexplicably made um who explicitly made it to the semifinals. <laughs> he now faces um reigning champ Ch uh, Ch um, Chesney in the finals. Okay, it's the final round. The newcomer Wendigo and Tinkle. Reigning champ, um, the Honorable Knight Chesney, and her horse Hazelnut, advised by her sage pa um, Partridge. We'll give both sides time to strategize. That's Chesney. Everyone's saying she's a tough nut to crack. Yeah, she's tough, all right, but she can't win. How come? Unlike the Little Miss Honor roll, we've uh, we're gonna cheat. What? What if they disqualify us? <coughs> yeah, if. Do you want to save Christmas or not? Come on, win um, winner, winners always cheat. They're ju they're just good at hiding it. Well, if you put it that way, I guess we've no choice. When we're fighting her, blast her from afar with your nose. While she's surprised, we'll slip around and lance her butt. Th that's what I was doing beforehand. Wait. Boy, Chesney, that little yeti is a real dark horse, see? More like a dark reindeer. I'll have to be careful. No need, see? see? I like those uh, naive kids we're gonna cheat. Oh! You dirty bird, I'm an honorable knight. This is the big leagues, don't be a sap. The baddest of the bad always wins, see? Now grease up the sides of your armor, gal. F um, fire needles at him. Uh, no knock that rude off, he won't even get close. Just don't grease your ass, don't want to slip off, see? Alright, if you think it'll help me win. Uh, okay. They're gonna disqualify both of us. Ah! Oh my god. Tuh! Sharing candy. Another miracle pudding, too. In a projectile-filled joust and, will, um, and with well-placed strikes to the rear, Wendigo is victorious. Oof, I lost. <laughs> <coughs> ah, they cheated. See, bastards? Yeah, but we did too. Shab, no one's supposed to know that. Woohoo, I did it. Now to ditch this tacky get-up. Good, you can stop riding me now. And the winner is Wendigo. What does the queen have to say? Brilliant, so exciting, oh so sneaky, I love that. Such carnage, blood pumping, yeah. Congratulations to Wendigo, please wait in the arena for a special celebration. Now where on earth could, uh, Dragod be? Interesting. Yes, I knew this would be the door key. Wonder what's behind it. Wolf Bark, stop. Who said, um, that you can go in there? Nobody, but your, um, apprehension only makes me more curious. Leave it alone or things will get proper rough, Birdie. Is that a threat? Well, you've got to see- well, now I've got to see what's behind this door. That's it, I'll rough you up good. Oh! Uh, Robin Solo, okay. Oh, I love this boss theme. <laughs> oh! 
Okay. Dogs. <laughs> Oh, I, I got hit there. I can do this, I'm not worried. <coughs> also, next I get a chance, I might... There we go. <laughs> but why are we here? Wait. Yeah, I'm gonna make a couple notes now that it's two things I gotta check. There we go. There's something like deeply uncomfortable about this song to me in a way that I kind of like. Oh my god, oh my god, Jesus Christ. Okay, that works. That's not what I want you to increase. That was a really easy pattern. I got a bone! I'll bark and no bite. Ah, oh, for your bark- um, your barking girl boss, you think you're scary? Just wait till I tell the biggest, scariest girl boss of all. Yeah, the queen. Oh no, he ran off to tell on us. Should we go after him? Older Halo, he wanted us away from this door. Let's not give him what he wants. Okay, I think that'll be it for this episode, though. And we'll see you folks later. Thanks for watching.